What's going on guys? This is Frank. Today we're working on a 1-2 piston accumulator on a 4L60E. My model is a 2003, but if you have a 94 and up, this will apply. So first things first, you're going to have to drop your transmission pan and remove this accumulator housing, which is just uh, three bolts. It's pretty easy to do. They're 10 millimeters. So you remove those three and pull this out. And what we have here is a plastic piston accumulator. It's for the first and second gear. The problem we have is these crack. They're very known, well known to crack. And this, uh, this hole right here will be worn out because the shaft is metal, but this is plastic. So it's a very common part to fail. It'll give you a hard transition from first gear to second gear, which is the problem I was having. So this is a Sonax pinless piston accumulator. It's a well-known upgrade, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install that. So as you can see, my accumulator, it's, um, the piston is already popped out. What I had to do is uh, this hole right here, I had to spray compressed air into to allow that to pop out. But some people, they get it with a screwdriver. Uh, I didn't want to risk damage this housing, so I just uh, put compressed air here. I put about 40 pounds, I'd say. Nothing too crazy. So I put compressed air in, pop that out. So you're just gonna remove your piston like so. You can tell this one is actually new. Uh, I guess the shop who installed the transmission, they went ahead and replaced this, but they did a pretty poor job going with GM spec. So once you remove that piston, you're gonna have a spring. See, you can tell the spring's new also and then another spring that goes inside of that one. So two springs and then your factory pin. So since you're doing the pinless upgrade, what you're gonna have to do is take that shaft out. So what you'll have to do is, you see mine's crooked, so I, I've been beating on it and pulling on it, but your best bet is to find the hole in the back and you take a small punch just one that will fit pretty well. So you take your punch and hammer it out. I think mine's already pretty loose. It should be by now. But you'll hammer that out and your pin should be loose. I might have to, yeah, motivate it. So once you've removed your pin, you set that to the side and now you just have your accumulator housing. You see that empty hole that can't be left empty, which is why these ball bearings are here. So you're gonna take the appropriate sized one, which in this case will be the smaller one, and just drop it down into the hole. Oh, first shot, nice. So once you drop it in the hole, you're gonna go ahead and push it in, you know, take your punch, press it flush to that mating surface, or to this surface, you're gonna make it flush. And then you're gonna do a cross hatch to it which is you take a chisel and basically put an X over that. It forms some of the metal so that ball will never come out. Just to reinforce what I meant by putting a cross hatch over the ball. So I already have the transmission put together, but let's use this drawing as an example. So let's say this dark circle in the center is the ball you drop into the accumulator housing and the circle around it is the aluminum surrounding the ball. So what you're literally going to do is hammer an X into the metal. That's not pretty, but what that does is it secures the ball and it keeps it from moving. And this is what a proper cross hatch looks like. It's a little hard to tell, but I hammered an X where I drew my finger over. So once you have that cross hatched and you have it cleaned out and whatnot, you're gonna go ahead and take your new pin or your new accumulator, excuse me, and it comes with two um, two seals. I already put one on, but this other one you just gotta put on. They're pretty rigid. Um, oops. You could tell which one's which by the based on the thickness, the way it fits into the groove. See, this one fills it perfectly, so that's how you know that's the proper seal. So the directions specify to do the dome end facing the top. This is the dome end and this is the open end. You see it has a groove which is made for your springs. So once you remove, 
all your old components, you're gonna go ahead and drop your springs in. Since these are pretty new, I'm gonna go ahead and reuse them. So just drop that in like so, just the same way it came out. Small one goes inside of it, so like so. Then take your new accumulator. I gotta put that seal on it, but this is just a demonstration. So you're just gonna set it on top. Make sure it seals pretty good, which it'll seal better when you have this other ring, of course. And that's all there is to it. It's a Sonax pinless 1-2 accumulator upgrade. This will help your transmission shift a lot better. I've heard great things about it. I've had a couple buddies that have told me about this, so I'll be sure to report back with the results. So it's a relatively easy upgrade. It's just something that there wasn't a video for, so I figured I'd make one. So if this helps you out, be sure to leave a like or comment, see if there's anything I can do to make my video better. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.